The successful implementation of inclusive youth projects requires a variety of social and methodological competencies. That is why preparing the team is key. Individual team members may fully embrace inclusion as a core value, but can still be caught off guard when it comes to putting inclusion into practice. That's why we need to equip our teams with sufficient knowledge and tools. Let's hear about good practices others have put in place when it comes to building capacity of their team. The first thing that we do, and this is normally a protocol when we run programs, was to send out a form to everybody that apply, asking if they would have any specific needs. And from that initial survey, we identified that there was quite a few of the participants or applicants at that time that uh, identifies as a neurodivergence person. And then from that, we start to have an idea of what was the group that we would have and look for resources of how we could support this group. The first thing was actually to be in contact with these participants uh, and ask them what they need. And later on, looking for uh, experts in the topic. And in this case, we did have the opportunity to contact people from the Neurodiversity Institute here in the Netherlands, but as well as resources online that are so abundant in that sense. Over the last five years, I would say we have learned a lot, learning by doing. So when we started to do or implement inclusive activities, we were not experts. So for us, it was a process and step by step by implementing a project which became more and more accessible for everyone, for people with disabilities, without disabilities, for people with a migration background. So we, we learned um, by doing and um, we always took into account uh, our participants themselves. We do train of trainers because it is important for us that in our teams we share common values. And it is important for us that the people who work for us understand the way how we're approaching inclusion, how we're approaching uh, international use exchanges and um, values of our organizations and then to discover where and what we can do together. Now, here's some of the tips we have collected about capacity building of your team in designing and implementing inclusive international youth projects. Avoid that inclusion ends up being the responsibility of one or two persons during the project's implementation. Talk to all team members, from facilitators to group leaders, language mediators and representatives of the partner organisations, about ethical youth work principles and the importance of inclusion, and discuss responsibilities and accountability for their specific roles. Pair new team members with experienced team members to pass on the core values and best practices on inclusion your organization already has. Encourage your team members to develop their competencies by joining trainings and building their own inclusion toolkits. Salto Inclusion and Diversity Resource Center provides plenty of great and free learning opportunities. For more tips, check the description. Do you need additional guidance? Contact your national agency.